I'm sure everybody goes through this. He's so ready to go bye-bye. He's been driving us nuts. You ready to go bye-bye? Okay, get in the car. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get in the car. So he thinks he owns the place. And he is going to hate being in a seatbelt. I actually bought him a harness seatbelt. So he is wearing the harness as well. But first we'll show you what it's like without the seatbelt. So there he tries to sit there. I can you take my keys. But most of the time he is trying to walk all over me like I don't exist. And I hate it. It's very hard to drive with him stepping all over me all the time. So when I saw, I'll show you this in a minute. Just a minute. Let me see. One, two, one, two, right? Yes. So I'm going to pause back and forth in between video, the video so it doesn't drag on. So that's one part, and I'll be right back. So before I get in, I'll show you. These are the seat belts for the dog. This company, it came with a pack of two which is nice so if something happens to one I have a spare or if you have more than one of these precious babies so we'll start off by excuse me excuse me excuse me I'm gonna put one away for now you see you see how much he cares that we were trying to get in there no he does not so this piece <laughs> here <laughs> he's like standing his ground I am staying here and that's it this piece hooks right into the seatbelt. And then this piece, of course, goes on the harness. And you adjust it for the length that you need. So I'm going to show you what it's like driving with him without him in the seatbelt. So normally, this how it goes. I'm just trying to put my seatbelt on, and already he has taken over my territory. Not my favorite thing. It's not terrible. But this is an ongoing thing. He will go back and forth. This will be okay for a while. Uh, then he'll go back into sitting on the middle um, console, back and forth. Um, occasionally his feet are up on the steering wheel. Yeah, very invasive. Yeah, so he really does make it hard to drive sometimes. But he loves going bye-bye in the car. This is him. Hi, I'm driving. I know you love it. My biggest worry is if this seat, if this airbag were to go off, he would be crushed. Now that is one of my biggest worries because you never know. I'm a safe driver. There's a cat over there. There's kitties. Hi, kitty cats. Um, I have not ever had an accident since I was a teenager, and... On your first day? On my first day of driving, actually, <laughs> as a teenager. Um, so this is pretty much how it is, and it's not terrible, but sometimes it is. It just depends, especially if it's a long drive. He just never seems to relax. He never lays down. If he does, it's probably like 30 seconds he'll lay down on my lap. You think, oh, thank God, he's finally relaxed. Then he'll stand up again. And then he stands up again. Yeah. He has yeah. to do his rounds, make sure we're in check. Yes. He would probably want me to open the window right now. This is, this is about as much relaxing as you get from him. But it's uh, 30 degrees out, so... No, no, no thing. I thought... I had waited on doing this video because it was supposed to be 46 degrees today and I thought, ooh, that'll be nice. Plus, the roads were a sheet of ice and the roads have finally cleared. So, I couldn't put a seatbelt on him and take him out to the driveway and not take him out bye-bye. It would have been <laughs> the crying for hours we would have gotten because he never forgets. If you say we're going bye-bye, you better go bye-bye or else 
you'll be sorry that those words ever came out of your face. So here we go. He's done with that pose for now. And <laughs> exactly. So that's it. He's like, I was thinking about going to sit in the console, but maybe not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to pull over, and I'm going to put him in his seatbelt in the back seat, which he is not going to be happy about because he likes to be up front. So. Oh, just as we're pulling over, he's, this is him he takes again. the wheel. We're getting ready to pull over <laughs> to put him in the seatbelt, and this, this is also what I get. It's like he has taken over driving my car. In the back seat. I'm in the back seat with the dog, and already he's. Uh, so you just take this clip and you click it into the seatbelt. Now, if you're just using a harness, then you just hook it to the harness. But this is a, a seatbelt. Now, I want him to be able to move around a little so he's comfortable, but I don't want him to be able to hang himself either. So <laughs> yeah, that's not preferable. It's so pink. I, I want to tighten it just a little, but let's see if this has a... Stay bud. I don't want him to be able to get off the seat. So... Did I lengthen it or shorten it? <laughs> I think I lengthened it. <laughs> The sad thing is, is I pulled over and there's so much garbage where people just dump their garbage out here. Yep. Humanity at its finest. Hi, <coughs> handsome. I cannot figure out. I guess this is the shorter one. Yeah, so now he's not going to be able to get off the seat. 